Hi, my name's Rob Claiborne and you're listening to Juma Juice. Everybody, welcome to Gymologist. Today we've got Rob Claiborne. Rob's uh, British-born but resident in, in France, and uh, most, most recently made some waves with uh, the introduction of uh, Joomla 1.5 powered site with some really cool custom code on, on a site called Blobble.net. Hi, Rob. How you doing? Hi, Peter. I'm great. Good, to have, you? good to have you here, mate. That's um, a good connection we've got on Skype. Uh, let's hope it holds together. To start with, you, you're a director with um, uh, of you're a director of a company called Pollinate. 
Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Um, so um, it's just a UK company for basically myself. Um, and we deal with uh, custom coding for Joomla and uh, design work. Uh, so it's quite a simple little business, really. Yeah, and you're, you're, you're also well known for um, a GPL component you've got, which is called Fabric. Yeah, I mean, that's taking up um, more and more of my time, um, yeah. which is good, which is good. It's, uh, the project's really, really advanced in the last six months. And, um, and uh, yeah, I'm basically uh, scaling down all the pollinate work and spending more and more time on, on fabric and, and blob all, really. Excellent. Um, well, let's start, let's start, with your, um, start with your Joomla story. What, what led you to Joomla in the first place? How, how did that come about? Uh, well, we were working... Um, well, I, the, just to make a point clear, the people I work with on Blobble were the guys I used to work with before uh, we got into um, Joomla and Mambo, etc. Um, so that's a little link there. Yeah. Uh, but we were working uh, on on uh, we were doing some kind of basic website design for people, and uh, I'd come a, I'd was realising that what we were doing was just you know repetitive, um, and there was surely a better model for um, creating sites, you know, the fact that you had to do a database and you had to create a back end and it was just, you know, the same thing over and over again which wasn't really uh, what what we were hoping to, you know, it was a waste of time and effort and energy really. So we went out looking on the internet for uh, for uh, something that would match our needs and really at the time man, there was anything that really came close, there was anything that looked si simple enough in the back end for our users to understand. Yeah. Um, so... From from there, I got into Joomla, and and here I am today, really. So, so that's what been a journey of about four years. Um, yeah, four years. Yeah, ever since I've been in France. So yeah, four years. Very cool. And what part of France are you in, Rob? Uh, I'm in La Rochelle, which is on the um, west coast. Uh, anyone from the UK probably knows it from their uh, text school textbooks. It's the <laughs> it's the town they all come from in those books, and um, it's just above Bordeaux. So very nice little port. And is it um, a pretty place? Can you describe it a bit? Uh, well, yeah, it's a uh, small town, uh, very, very big sort of season. It's kind of like Brighton of the UK, except with better weather. Yeah. Uh, it's A lot of people from Paris come down here, and um, it's got a... It used to be Protestant, so it's got uh, it's got um, trash by uh, Richelieu, so there's lots of kind of old gates that are half broken down and there's an old port with towers and um, it's uh, yeah it's great uh, and if you go on to Blobble sorry I'm just going <laughs> to you look on my profile there's loads of loads of pictures of, of La Rochelle obviously yeah um, that sounds cool and is, are you into um, apart from <clears throat> living there are you into the, the skiing and that sort of thing is that why you're down there <laughs> uh, well, um, we moved to France because my girlfriend's French, and yeah. we uh, we kind of were thinking about that. But in fact, it's uh, if we'd have done that, we would have gone somewhere like Toulouse, because yeah. uh, that's kind of close to the sea and the Pyrenees. We're about five hours from the Pyrenees and about twelve hours from the Alps, so it's not actually any better than being in the UK. Yeah, I keep forgetting uh, how I keep forgetting how big France is. Yeah, uh, it's a big place. Well, getting back to um, your work with uh, Blobble.net, how did it come about? I mean, there's got to be a good story behind that. <laughs> there's a very long story <laughs> behind it. Um, the, so the people I used to work with at a company called Datasphere, um, that kind of went under, and I took over the web design part of it, and a guy called Pete Fry took over what at the time was um, managing uh, green transport systems for companies. So it was um, trying to encourage people to share cars. That was the idea. So you be a large client, which is Eon, which used to be PowerGen. Yeah. And um, it was basically encouraging people to use their car, and there was a kind of kiosk system where you, you would monitor who was who came in and who whether they came in via car, via the car park, or et cetera. Um, so he was doing that, and he was looking then to kind of make some kind of social site around sharing transport, really. Okay. Um, so then he came uh, back to uh, myself and Robin, who's the other guy in the global team, and we can, they kind of talked about it, and we kind of 
move the move the idea on from there really it's not really that related to sharing journeys anymore but um that was that was kind of what we what we were thinking about and it's been we've been knocking around for a couple of years so it's it was at a time when myspace was getting big and uh basically pete's a bit younger than me so he was really into it and uh me and robin who just a bit older just really didn't understand why we'd want to <laughs> have a brain full of myspace uh i still don't because there's there's no um there's nothing tangible about it it's uh it's kind of networks of relationships with people you don't know and you have nothing particularly in common with yeah and we were trying to tie social networking back down into some kind of you know re- re- um, uh, real world examples so you know your real friends with uh places you know and you share and, and, and things, of, of, things of common interest rather than just friends of somebody you don't really know yeah that was yeah. hopefully the idea yeah because i mean it's one of the things i've noticed with um the, the Joomla community is you can meet a stack of people and um you do have a starting point because you can talk about <laughs> talk about things you've been doing with Joomla or, or a problem you've got you're trying to sort out and oh yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's it's really important to have a reference when creating relationships online and uh, yeah it doesn't so, work otherwise really so with your site cause let's i mean i've i've looked at my space too and i i must admit i thought it was pretty pretty rubbish um and i I've looked at Facebook and I can't I can't see any real benefit of that either. And whereas with Blobble, what I've what I see there is you've got um, the ability for people who are like-minded to hook up a lot more easily. In, yeah, in the way it works. Um, hopefully, yeah. I mean, we st- I think we still got some way to go. Uh, well, it's like, for uh, example, um, I was hovering over a particular part of the UK, uh, somewhere on likely to visit soon and there were there was a blob over that spot and there was a person down there and so if you dug a bit deeper you could find out a bit more about that person and, and then and then maybe make the contact but that sent to me seems like a more logical way of, of building those sorts of online relationships and then extending it further yeah i mean uh hopefully yeah you'll be able to uh find people you don't know or you think might have something related to you yeah. uh, and get some inside, inside advice and get something a bit more a bit more interesting than uh, um, than just what you know the standard guidebook would say about a place or um, uh, that type of thing because and I think guidebooks are great if you just want a general opinion about something but I yeah. think there's um, everyone's got their own interests and what would be really exciting for someone's going to be really boring <coughs> for another person Um and so, so how did you come? How did you come up with Blobble? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we spent ages, and um, um, I don't really know. To be honest, in the end, we were just brainstorming for hours. Go on, go on, admit it. You guys were all drunk. <laughs> no, this was in the afternoon. We hadn't even started yet. <laughs> it only sort of, we, we were convinced when we were drunk that it was good, but before that, we weren't <laughs> sure. <laughs> Well, we it started off because of the idea with the um, um, uh, car sharing. It started off with a name called Journey Friends, yeah. which was uh, which is a bit bit naff. We thought, and uh, uh, I can't. And we were just, I don't know why. I don't um, know. You've asked for, me, I don't know. <laughs> for people, for people who are non-European, naff means stupid. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of a word that I could use that wouldn't be uh, <laughs> wouldn't be beat out. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Um, so, and you adopted Joomla 1.5 that that far out? Because I mean, this thing's been in develop, development for quite a while. What led you to take that decision? Um, well, I just knew that it was going to be um, the way forward, uh, and before that, I'd been messing around with the 1.5 code base trying to do um, an e-commerce shop um, which never really saw the light of day but I was just as a way of getting into like, learning about the API Yeah. Uh, and I just kind of thought well this is a site we're going to be maintaining for a long time um, that we're hopefully is going to be successful and if we want to do that then we really need to start off with a code base that's going to that's going to be you know upgradable later on and for all we've got here I really you know, running, running sort of 
uh, one uh, one point five site in the future with legacy mode on and all that. I just thought it would be a, a bad idea, really. Yeah. It's gonna, I, th- I thought it would cause more problems in the future. Uh, so then we've got a lot of code in here, and the idea of the fact of having the view separated and everything a lot more easy to be overridden uh, with all the the mo- templating for the modules, etc. was just a it just it wasn't really a kind of debate, really. I think it was just a just a way forward. Well, and as we kind of progress with the project, we realise there are things we, that could be done in the one point in one point five that we couldn't do before that were really useful. Certainly, like the login is um, the man. Oh, sorry, not excuse me. The plugins for uh, for the login uh, are really useful for what we're doing here because we, when people sign up, we're actually creating um, um, a blob for them on the sign up. Uh, with the details from the sign up and all of that would have had to have acquired a hack beforehand and now it's all all nice and clean as a plugin um, that's about I think that's the main reasons why we chose 1.5 yeah you, you were talking earlier about um, the login system with Joomla 1.5 and how you said how it creates a, a blob you nearly said a man but Oh uh, yeah, I, know I did. Yeah, you uh, you old might, habits die hard. You might have created a new, um, new terminology there. Maybe we should call the bots blobs. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure what everyone else would say about that. <laughs> um, so, so, how does that differ from the one zero series? What, what's the way? It, how does it work? Uh, well, off the top of my head, I think uh, that um, you can create a normal plugin, like you could in. Uh, the 1.0 series, um, but that gets triggered when you uh, save a new user. So um, uh, basically, it was a snatch to to uh, plug into that and um, take the registration details and create a, their own profile from that straight away. Yeah. Um, nice and simple, nice and straightforward, and and easy to implement. It was great. And I know that, I know there's some guys working with OpenID. Have you, you got any any Thoughts on that? Maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, we well, it's something I looked at right from the beginning, and um, I couldn't tell you whether it works at the moment or not. But um, I, it certainly was at some point on Blobble that OpenID was working. Uh, yeah. um, and I had quite a f- can't remember who it was, uh, but certainly on the um, on the Joomla forums, we kind of had a kind of couple of discussions about um, uh, about improving it and making it work. And uh, um, so yeah, I think it's definitely. A, Hopefully, the way forward uh, cool. for for a lot of sites, really, it's a it's a great idea. Well, instead of having how many squillion logins and you just manage one. Yeah, well, it's small as the fact that everyone has one login that's all over the place, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't know how many people change their passwords to every site, but uh, I don't know many. No. Or I'm forever retrieving passwords from my sites where I've got multiple logins. Yeah, it's great with Firefox until you lose, until your computer dies, and then you don't know. <laughs> you always remember passwords are gone forever. Yeah. So um, there's kind of there's, there's a lot of information like that um, that's happening in the internet, which is which is great. Um, uh, sort of micro formats, which we've um, somewhat implemented in Blobble, um, which people don't know. That's kind of little bits of markup um, in the page with a specific classes assigned to them. That means that. Um, Plugins such as Operator for Firefox can pick up, for example, a contact, and you can say, "All right, add this contact uh, to my address book from the page," um, okay. which is quite it's a great little idea. Um, so we can't remember who we've done now. We've done uh, certainly all the addresses in Blobble are in that format, and um, there's there's also kind of all the work going on with um, uh, friend of a friend, which is. Um, uh, again, a microformat, which I'm pretty sure we've implemented, um, which again should theoretically allow people to import and export their their friends from various applications. So, I think there's a quite you know a move from these silos of information to a more distributed approach to people's relationships, which is something that's going to be really exciting in the next couple of years, I think. Yeah, well, I, I caught up with an old Joomla buddy uh, because of your site. So, oh really? Excellent. Yeah, Truzers, tr- 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 who, who um, used to be on the core team, he he uh, signed me up as a friend. So, let's hi, go, so hi Truzers, <laughs> if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I see you had, you've got Amy Stephen there. 
Yeah, yeah, Amy's uh, <laughs> been kind enough to blog about it as well, so that's, uh, that was great. Yeah, so and, and is this all this um, interest generating a bit of traffic for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've, um, well, considering that we just launched beforehand, we didn't really have anybody apart from our friends, it's, uh, it's gone up massively, and I think, uh, so I think this weekend we were on about 300 page uh, visitors a, a day, uh, and about 60% of that was from the Joomla site. Really? And from Amy's blog article, so. Um, and if you, have you got um, is it on dedicated hosting at the moment or? What, what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's on a um, who's it with? It's with a company called Amy and World, which are in uh, this it's in London-based um, dedicated server. It's just a small dedicated server, but. Um, so you got plenty of scope for, for growth. For, yeah, for ramping it up. Yeah, hopefully. Um, what 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 about the future for Blobble, Rob? Have you got um. Any any ideas on the back burner that you might want to develop further? Um, yeah, there's quite. As with all these projects, the more you do, the more you can think of to do. Um, yeah. There's certainly work to be done on the kind of intercommunication between people. Yeah. And the, mo the moment when you leave a shout on a page, the, the user doesn't get informed by email. Um, so we've got to look at. I think that, that might be a bit too much, but maybe some kind of um, summary letter that people can opt into um, each week. Um, we're also trying to look at making the, the content in that newsletter um, specific to, to your, you and your interests. Um, so maybe taking a look at all the new blobs added that week and, and uh, filtering them based on your preferences and yeah. your location. Yeah. Um, then we've also wanting to look at uh, integrating into mobile phones so people can uh, blob about stuff when they're you know, out on the road, uh -huh. take a photo, upload it, and it creates a blob. Uh, and then also um, we're looking at um, try, trying, not quite sure how we're going to do this, but um, trying to allow people to make their own little uh, physical books from the content. Oh, so, really? they can, so if they're going to go to Spain, they can make a guide, you know, a guidebook about Spain that matches what they're interested in. Um, so we're going to have to look, look at some kind of online printing options for that. And look at learn, look at Lonely Planet. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully. So, I mean, all this stuff costs money, Rob. So how are you going? How are you going to monetize it? Well, um, certainly for the books and stuff, that's going to be presumably a paid service, yeah. and uh, we're maybe looking at doing some kind of optional um, uh, um, subscription service, but I'm not quite sure how what what the benefits of that would be yet for our users. Yeah. Uh, really, really, at the moment we're just trying to make it, um, you know, useful and yeah. to to create a community. I don't think it's too early to really monetize it before that because, you know, the benefit to people is is not that great, and we we really have more need of people to come to use the site than than than, than taking their money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I wasn't. I wasn't suggesting that. But no, no, no. But it's, knows, it's, you know, it's a business. It's a business. So we need to we need to look at. You know, getting some money back from it somehow. Yeah. Uh, um, well, who knows? You know, but that thing called YouTube started off small, ish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, at the moment, it's just limited to running Google AdWords on the uh, on the site, um, which kind of makes sense for the content we've got as well. Uh, um, but we will have to wait and see, really. I'm not yeah. Fair enough. Thanks to Rob for his great contribution telling us about Blubber.net. Joomla Juice is um, fast approaching 60,000 downloads, so there's something to celebrate. And there's a few other things to celebrate coming up. Joomla is going to be two years old in um, September. It's worth remembering. And there's another release candidate on the horizon. And, um, this will be the beginnings of some, some incredible development. So if you're uh, interested in web development and using the new Joomla 1.5 framework, tune in for, tune in for some more information uh, in forthcoming shows. Thanks for listening.